What's up everyone, I'm Stephen here with Tiny House Listings. I'm Gabe Gentile. And today we're excited to show you a 32 foot model Tiny. Now we've built 18 footers, we built 24 footers, we built a lot of 28 footers, and this is the first one we built that is 32 feet long. And uh, so in this video, we're gonna quickly kind of go through and show you the differences, slight differences between a 28 footer and a 32 footer. While we're out here, you can see that it's kind of similar to the, well, it is similar because it's model tiny, it's just 32 foot. It's got the two picture windows in the back, which those, you can upgrade to those if you like. You don't have to, you can just do a regular window. And then another thing is, because it is longer, we had to add an extra axle in, just for safe transport down the road. So now that we're inside, you can see behind me, we actually have a fun wall we want to show you. It doubles as a privacy wall. It lets the air flow through, because you can see it actually doesn't go all the way up. So just one mini split will cool this whole building. When we go around the other side, you'll actually see the surprise. <laughs> All right. You, you, on here on the inside, you can actually see that we have built a thick wall and we actually turn it into a closet. So you can see there's two sides. You'll be able to hang clothes and have some drawers if you like, or you could just do shelves and fold your clothes and put them on it. Yeah, because that's one of the beefs. So we heard a lot of the comments. People are saying there's not enough storage in these model tinies and we tend to agree. So this helps solve that. And also it's kind of dual use because you have privacy as well. Right, yeah. So now that we bumped it up to a 32, we took a little, we did a couple extra steps. We were able to build this closet so people have the privacy and the storage and then also the ability to sit in the room because right behind me you can actually see we installed another light switch so these can lights in the bedroom are on their own switch and so is these uh these sconces that are on the either side of the mirror so if you're sitting here in bed you can flip on your your uh, sconce and read or if you're running from your kitchen you don't have to run all the way out there, turn the lights off, you have them right here for yourself. Another cool thing is there'll be a sliding barn door. You'll be able to slide to either side yeah. or in the middle if you want to have complete privacy, and assuming there's someone in the living room. All right, so another difference between the 32 foot model and the 28 foot model is the kitchen extends from eight feet all the way out to 10 feet. The reason we do that is just because, because you have extra space. It makes it really nice. And you also have the overhang here at the end, right? Yeah, so what we did was we actually didn't the kitchen cabinets are the same. There's going to be that eight foot uh, kitchen cabinets, but then we gave you a two foot overhang, which gives you the ability to have one to two people eating at that countertop. So the cabinet layout will be the same as a 28 model tiny, but you'll have that extra two feet of countertop space for prep, working, uh, eating, whatever you like. And then actually, this is a totally different topic, but when we changed this new roof line, it actually opened us to be able to put a pantry over here so that even have more storage so you'll have your fridge and then you'll have another pantry a 24 inch pantry that can be 90 inches 96 inches tall it fits right here so you have even more storage in your kitchens and that's kind of one of the reasons we switched this to, to uh two pitch roof line also yeah and the bathroom is pretty much the same as far as the whole layout the dimensions you still have the same really nice loft above since we moved the you can see how the roof line goes out at a, at a um less of a pitch that gives you much more room to actually sleep up there if you want um, but that's completely up to you. And um, yeah, other than that, that's really the only changes between the 28 footer and the 32 footer. So you have the storage wall, extra axle, four extra speed of, feet of space and a little bit longer kitchen. So if you're interested, you could email us at build at tinyhouselistings.com or go to tinyhouselistings.build, click on the model tiny. You'll see there's like the models where we'll drop down. You could build one of these out, um, but we'll be glad to build one for you. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video.